Hello everyone, welcome to Catherine's Q&A, episode 23. Today we're going to be talking about alphas, betas, and arcs. So first thing I want to do is ask, do you even know what I'm talking about? Well, these are all different people who can help a, an author or a writer during their publication process. And maybe you're a person who is an author or writer or interested in that, or maybe you're just someone who likes to read. Well, either way, you might want to listen in because there may be something here for you. So starting off, let's go over the basic formula for uh, publishing and writing. Obviously, you come up with your first draft and that takes a lot of effort in and among itself. And then you begin the next steps, which are editing, 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 and maybe a little bit more editing before you format and then publish. Now, again, that's skipping a lot of other steps. That's just the most basic form uh, you can take. But again, uh, what we're going to go into is a little more in depth to some other people. Now, obviously, um, the people who help you, the one of the most famous ones is your editor. And uh, the editor, again, takes your manuscript right before the end, after you've gone through most of those rounds to edit yourself and polishes it up before you release. Now, not all indie authors use editors today, but I'm a person who always uh, recommends them, but I'm not here to argue it here or there that way. Instead, we're going to talk about uh, some of these other people, including, let's start off from the beginning, alphas. Alpha being the letter A in the Greek alphabet. Uh, they are you're going to be your people, your first round of people who can help you edit. So they'll take your very, very raw um, manuscript. Maybe it's only your first draft or your first couple, and they're there to help point out the biggest flaws, the most obvious grammatical errors and spelling errors. Maybe you're the biggest uh, plot holes or the most obvious. That's what they're there for. Then, as you're going through your process of editing, you might want to then seek out uh, people who can serve as betas. And betas are there to take already a pre-edited, in some way, shape, or form, manuscript, and then help kind of pull out a little more, well, a little less obvious flaws. So you can use betas right before you send it to an editor. If you're not using an editor, I would definitely advise you getting a number of a handful of betas to help you out because uh, you become as a writer so familiar with your work you might miss uh, problems that people who've never seen or laid eyes on your work can help easily to them uh, notice so betas are very beneficial you can even use betas after an editor's gone through because even editors make mistakes and i've had people uh, pick up uh, grammatical error that slipped by here or there on occasion. But uh, betas, again, are just other people who usually volunteer their time, same with alphas, though there are a few that will ask for money, so be aware. But for the most part, there are a lot of people you can find who serve as alphas or betas for free, which is very nice, especially when you are an indie author and uh, trying to be careful about your budget. So again, going through the process and then you once you have gone through alphas betas maybe an editor and you formatted your book and it's about ready to either go on pre-order or you're about ready to release it that's when you might want to consider arc readers now let's talk about arcs for a second what is an arc first arc stands for advanced reader copy arc arc so that's your manuscript that you're going to give out for free to people who are willing to review your work so an ARC readers essentially are reviewers, the first round of reviewers you have. And what you want to do is give them plenty of time. So maybe a month, six weeks in advance, you want to reach out to people who want to be an ARC reader, give them your manuscript, give them enough time to read through it. So the day your book releases publicly, they can be ready to then put their reviews on Amazon, on Goodreads, on BookBub, or wherever you have your book out and available and uh, they show reviews, the ARC readers can then put their, what they thought about your book and their little bit of spiel about it um, and post it on all those platforms for you. And that is actually really great. I've been enjoying using ARC readers this year. I love my team. It's been growing 
uh, steadily throughout the year and uh, I'm feeling very blessed about them. So I do recommend using arc readers. They're great. A couple of things I do want to mention about using arc readers. You should never, ever, ever on the side of a writer or uh, and or author, never ask or never pay them. That's a big, big, big no-no. Amazon gets a whiff of any kind of payment, monetary or gifts giving. Uh, they view those kind of incentives as bribes and that's, they will penalize and they can penalize an author. They will remove your reviews. That's a huge no. So don't do that. Always look for our readers who are going to do it for free because that's really supposed to be the deal is you're giving them an, a book for free, an opportunity to read it in advance before the rest of the world gets a copy. And then you, all you do is just say, hey, please give me your honest review. And that's point two. Always try to get an honest review. You cannot manipulate uh, what your ARC readers are going to post and uh, cherry pick the reviews you like the most. I'm sorry, but the truth is if you hand out ARCs to different people, there is a possibility that someone will go and trash your book in a review that's less favorable. And I guess in a future um, video, I'll go and talk about handling less than favorable reviews and how to do that tactfully. But, um, you know, as an author or writer, when you're working with art readers, you cannot manipulate what they will say. You cannot force them to put positive uh, things about your book. All you can do is just hope they do like it and go from there. Now, on the flip side, maybe you aren't writing and you are just someone who likes to read. And one of these opportunities being alpha reader, beta reader, or arc reader might be something you're interested in. Well, consider again, what you enjoy. Do you like the concept of editing and uh, spotting? Are you pretty good at spotting uh, punctuation errors, et cetera, so on? Well, then obviously an alpha beta, depending on what level background you have and what your comfort level is, might be something you are interested in. And if you're someone who thinks reviewing work is uh, up your alley, great. Be considered being an arc reader. But um, if you do review other people's works, obviously for me, I would advise, there are different ways you can do it, but I would advise con using constructive criticism. So obviously, if you f find something you like, point it out. If there's something you don't like, don't just demonize it. Instead, be tactful at how you approach it and find ways um, where when you're talking or posting this review, it can potentially help the author because authors will look at reviews. They may not try to, but they eventually will at some point. Um, the author can then see where their flaws were and then that helps them improve in the future um, so they can become a better writer. For instance, maybe you didn't like a character, you can kind of word it something like, okay, I didn't like this character or a couple of the characters because I thought they were too flat. They needed more dimension. I would have liked to hear more backstory. Or maybe this story I noticed had a lot of unanswered questions just left me hanging and I would have preferred some of those to be wrapped up. Well, those are ways to, again, critique in a nice manner and also allow the writer, the author, to improve themselves in the future so then uh, the next book that comes out, you might enjoy it more. But anywho, uh, that's my spiel on alphas, betas, and arc readers. And if you're interested in being being one of those or uh, looking for one of those, depending on what side of the publication spectrum you are, you can, one of the best resources for me that I found, um, Facebook has a lot of groups. Again, you can search alphas, betas, arcs. Um, again, arc is A-R-C, capitalized, and find a group that will help you connect to the people you want. But that's it for today. And if you have any questions for me, uh, you can post them in the comments below or message me on social media, including Facebook. And I will talk to you next time. Skull.